Hello, and welcome to Folger on Horrors. I'm Jesse Austrian. I'm really happy to speak with you today. The Folger has been sharing selections from their plays, music, talks, and readings with you in this Encore series. Today, we are revisiting the Folger Theater and Fiasco Theater production of Shakespeare's The Two Gentlemen of Verona. Ben Steinfeld and I co-directed this world premiere production, which premiered at the Folger. After the Folger run, we remounted the show at Theater for a New Audience here in New York. We loved this production of Two Gents. It had a little bit of everything, great language by Shakespeare, live music, dance, and lots of big hearted comedy. All of this was done by a cast of only six. Two Gentlemen of Verona, thought to be one of Shakespeare's earliest romantic comedies, is the story of two devoted friends, Valentine and Proteus, the two gentlemen of the title. Valentine leaves their home city of Verona for Milan, leaving Proteus behind with his love, Julia, played by me. Soon enough, Proteus leaves Verona and me to head to Milan, taking his servant Launce with him. In the selection you are about to watch, Launce, played here by the terrific Andy Grolution, recounts the mournful goings on of his family at his departure. With Launce is his faithful dog, Crab, played by the brilliant Zachary Fine. I adored directing this play and I really loved this section. Andy gets all of the great Shakespeare words and Zach, as Crab the dog, says nothing but steals the show. Please enjoy this bit of Two Gents with me and join us again for these episodes of Encores, highlighting all that the Folger has to offer. Thank you. <laughs> Nay, it will be this hour ere I have done weeping. All the kinds of the launches have this very fault. I have received my proportion, like the prodigious son, and am going with Sir Proteus to the Imperial's court. You sit. <laughs> I think that Crab, my dog, be the sourest natured dog that lives. <laughs> sister crying, our maid howling, the cat wringing her hands, and the whole house in a great perplexity, yet did not this cruel-hearted cur shed one tear. <laughs> He's a stone. He's a very pivotal stone, and hath no more pity in him than a dog. My fine granddam, look you, having no eyes, wept herself blind in my party. Nay, I will show you the mirror. Up and down. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know 